Yeah, I've been all over the place. I have a house in Sarasota, so I work in the winters at St. Martha's Church in Sarasota and uh, doing all the weddings and uh, w funerals of the old, older circus people. I have two organizations in Sarasota. I have the Circus and Traveling Show Retirement Project, what we call CATS, and we bought some land for the... Many of the circus people don't understand. They don't uh, have houses. They have trailers. And when they get old in their 70s or 80s, they have no place to park their cars and their trucks. So we have this place now for, uh, in Cepha, Florida, 30, uh, 10 miles north of Tampa, 45 miles from Sarasota, and we have 10 uh, places with uh, to, to park their trailers, and we have a house there, and we have people to manage it for them. So we've been working on that. We bought the land for 250000 and uh, we put 100000 down, so we're trying to raise that. I also have circusandtravelingshow.org, and that's where I raise money for the nuns. We do mission talks, and uh, we have two nuns who are on the road. They just were here at Kelly Miller Circus. We did a first communion today at St. Michael's in North Andover at noontime, and they left today, they're going to another circus. Every th three months they travel to a different circus and do catechetical work. So I've been working with those two organizations that keep me busy. And then I come back up here in the summer to help out in parishes. I was in Foxborough for um, a few weeks, and now I'm up here in St. Francis and Drake it for a few more weeks. But I'm also traveling with the shows. I'll be with this show next week, too. And I have, we have the big World Circus Summit meeting in West Springfield, Massachusetts in July for five days. We're going to do an ecumenical prayer service there. I have the Bishop of Springfield coming, plus there'll be five priests and four uh, Protestant ministers. And that's going to be quite a celebration, five days. So I'm going to go on the Ringling Show. I'll be with them in Fort Worth, Texas. I have a baptism, and some of the people who were in the accident in Providence, Rhode Island, two of the girls are godparents to this uh, beautiful baby. So we're going to have the celebration there. They live in Fort Worth, Texas, where the show will be. So I've been dealing with that. Last year we had the tragic accident in Providence where uh, eight girls fell with a hang act, and uh, seven of them had five to seven broken bones, but they're all recovered, they're all walking now, so that was last year's ex adventure. But there's never a dull moment in the circus business. I deal with the Big Apple Circus. They just finished up their season. Uh, I've been talking to them. I had them in Boston for six weeks and did mass for them for six weeks. And now I'll be going out to a Circus Vegas in uh, Las Vegas and visiting them. I know all those people do some sacraments on that show. And uh, Gold Show, the Ringling Brothers, Bon and Bailey's in their last year. They've been out 10 years. I'll go and say goodbye to them. And um, every day I deal circus work. I mean, people call me, and I'm dealing with circus people in the United States and in Canada, and some, occasionally sometimes with Cirque du Soleil. But it's never a dull moment. We, we, a lot of challenges. Uh, I grew up in Wood, Massachusetts, and my neighbor had worked at Ringling Brothers and Bon and Bailey Circus. He worked with the horses. So he introduced me to the circus. It was like having a professional baseball player or a football player as your neighbor. He gave me books. He introduced me to the, first, the circus priest at the time, who was also a priest from Boston. His name was Father Ed Sullivan. I was 16 at the time. I went to the Hunt Brothers Circus. I have a picture of myself and Father Ed at 16 years old. At the time, I never thought I'd be a priest, let alone follow in his footsteps. So, you know, the Lord has many mysterious ways in life. So I always look at that picture down in my home in Sarasota. When people come to visit me, I show them the picture. So that's how I got started, and then eventually I got to know the circus priest uh, when I was older and a priest, and um, he got sick and he gave my name to the bishops. I work for the bishops of the United States, the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops. I'm appointed uh, in charge of all Catholics in every circus in the United States of America. It's a big parish, and I do all the sacraments for the people. So that's, that's how it began, and I've been circus chaplain now 22 years, and it's been a, a, a great gift. I love visiting with circus people. I love being a priest. I've been a priest 41 years, so it's a challenge, but it, it's a, a great challenge. If we could bring the Lord to these people, we can go visit them wherever they are. They're very faithful people. We had 40 people today at the First Communion. You know, they put up the tent, they came, they had a celebration, we had ice cream and cake, and they're back here performing right now. So that's, that's their lifestyle, very challenging. The joy is seeing the different talent these people have. God gives all of us different kinds of talent. We have to discover what it is. It's right in Scripture. But what I see is when I see a contortionist or a person who's juggling, or today for the first time I saw this boy from Finland who came here in the United States, first time in the United States, speaks beautiful English, he's a ventriloquist, and he just, he just, he's phenomenal. And to see all these great acts, and to come here and not be in Dover, right here by the airport, you don't have to go far, you don't have to spend $40 for a ticket, you don't have to go to Boston or Manchester, New Hampshire, they come right here and they travel every day, just to see all that great talent in one spot is found out fabulous it's just great it it's great to be back in the merrimack valley i'm up at st francis and it's a lot of fun 
I was here 17 years at North Andover. I love the people and love help bring the circus here with the, with the Lions Club 17 years ago. And it, it's great to see all friends and go back to St. Michael's Church and, and I enjoy St. Francis. The people are great. I told them I was a circus chaplain and they trying to figure that out. They haven't figured me out yet. It's going to take a while. <laughs>